Okay. So that is uh, what we said about the soil particles. Then uh, before I get out of that question, I have got another uh, area that we covered. That is about the holding capacity of different types of soils. Are we together? We looked at which soil can hold the highest amount of water, which the little amount of water, and the one that holds average amount of water. Are we together? Yes. So which soil uh, holds the highest amount of water compared to the others? Compared to the others, we say the soil, the type that hold highest amount of water compared to the other types of soils is clay, isn't it? How many people agree with that? It's clay. Why do we say that clay has a highest amount of water holding water? So I can write here because I want everyone to get it. Clay holds highest amount of water. Amount of water. Yes. The same clay is the one which holds the highest amount of water. And the why? <laughs> Helen. Are you Helen? Why do we say that clay is the type of soil that holds the highest amount of water? Why does it hold the highest amount of water compared to the others? I can see people think. What's your name? Laura. Yes, Laura, tell us. It has? No. No. It's mama is there. Yeah. My yellow means the yellow. Mama. Yes. Can you give Moses a clap? Another one. Yeah, clean soil has more air spaces. That is what makes clay soil hold the highest amount of water is because it has a small air spaces compared to the others. Then, which one the little amount of water compared to the others? The one which hold little amount of water compared to the others. Because sand soil has because sand soil has yes it has got large air spaces then the other one is long it holds average amount of water because it has medium medium air spaces medium air spaces Yes, growing. I did that. Okay, now tell me which which soil, which type of soil is best for growing most of crops? Most of crops. The best soil for growing most of crops is which soil is good for farming from grade three? Can I hear you? Yes. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You will tell me the teacher who told you is sunny soil is good for farming. Yes. Lami. Which, which is lami soil? Long soil. Yes. Eh? Ah, don't love Nani. What is your name? Maxwell. Don't love. Should we pray for her? Long soil. Long soil. Then uh, there is another one. I saw a question. I think it's an exam asking the type of soil that is good for building and the construction, and it is mixed with the cement or cement uh, for the purpose of building and the construction is yes, the sandy soil. 
Are we together? Then another person, I asked somebody somewhere, the best soil for modeling. The best soil for modeling is? Yes. The clay soil. Very good. Then I tried to ask uh, some people somewhere, I was asking them, which are some of the crops that do well in sandy soil? One, coconut. Another one. Palm. Say palm. Yeah. Then I asked somebody somewhere, which are some of the crops that do well in clay soil? Clay soil, yes. Rice, yes. Oh, yes. Huh? Broccoli. Okay. We have a okay. We have a crops like arrowroots and sweet potatoes. Also, do very well in clay soil. Are we together? Then there are other crops that grow well. But now, listen. The trick is here. Most crops do well in loam soil. Most. That is why we say loam soil is the best for farming. Crops like maize, beans, cowpeas, green grams, all those crops do well in loam. In loam. Soil. soil. Okay, that is all about soil. Let us read number three. Green one is not an important of soil. Yeah, the best uh, choice there was the best choice there was D. Somebody is telling me uh, D. Why? Yeah, it is eaten as food by people. That is wrong, isn't it? Uh, okay, the following materials are used to make compost manure. Which one is not? 